What is one word you would use to describe being a woman of color at Brooklyn Friends? Intense. Um, I would say it's like an adventure. Like contradicting. Interesting. I think it's complex. Inconsistent. I would say complicated. Challenging. Eye-opening. Hard. Diverse. Sort of exotifying. Weird. Complex. Dysphoric. I think it's special, hard, shaping to the word, but I would say shaping because it's a challenge, but it shapes you into being a stronger person. Creativity, activity, service. CAS. All BFS graduates complete a CAS project during 11th and 12th grade. CAS aims to develop students as reflective thinkers who understand their own strengths and limitations, identify goals, and devise strategies for personal growth. CAS students are willing to accept new challenges and new roles and are aware of themselves as a member of communities with responsibilities towards others and the environment. They are active participants in sustained and collaborative projects. I'm Megan Henry, and I'm here with Senior Olafunke Shawale to talk about her cast documentary film, Our Stories. Welcome to the life. Thank you. Uh, you're right that Our Stories is about the duality that comes with being a woman of color, the strength that is behind our words and the playful sides that we often have to express to be taken seriously. Is that what inspired you to tell this story? We often have to like suppress the fun that we have in school to get things done and I'm someone who like loves to have fun especially when I'm in school I'm always having fun in school yeah. but the thing that I've noticed throughout my four years in the upper school and my six years at BFS is that sometimes you have to put that playful side away if you really want to get things done because if you don't work hard or if you don't show your serious side you won't be taken seriously no matter mm -hmm. what it is you're trying to show so i feel like just seeing that i'm not i wasn't the only person who felt like they had to portray themselves a certain way to be taken seriously was something that made me think about like how can i show the rest of the community that i don't want to just write about this or i, yeah. I don't want to just talk about this let me make a film because that's something that people can watch and they can see the emotion coming from people talking about this, that it is a serious thing. Or my audience got to see the playful side because yeah. there are times in the film where we like joke around or we laugh about the things that are being said. So I feel like film was the only way to really show that duality. What were some of the challenges that you faced during like the production of the film? It took me a while to get started, more so because I don't really like to ask for help so it took me a while to like ask people to yeah for me to like interview them and when I finally got that then it took me a while to like convert the films and to get them onto the computer and then to figure out how to import it into iMovie so that process took a really long time. How do you ensure honesty and help create uh, a safe space for people who maybe were a little shy or hesitant to share their experiences or answer the questions, you know, thoughtfully or honestly? One thing I did was I kept the camera running, so I kind of just let people rant or like I just let people say what was on their mind because I feel like sometimes when people see like a camera in front of them or they feel like they're going to get interviewed, they often tense up or they get a little stressed about they need to say the right thing or they need to say what they think the interviewer wants to hear. So I kept the camera running for those times where people were just laughing or like just relaxing and getting to the point where they felt like they could say what they wanted to say. And then also I made sure that like people had their friends in their in the room so that if they felt like they were getting stressed they could look over at their friend and like feel like there was someone in the room, whether it was me or whether it was their friend who was there to support them. What would you say was your main source of motivation throughout the process of production, filming? Hearing the stories of other people and recording the things that people had to say. Because I feel like it was important to hear this, but I also think that um, 
just being able to create new bonds with people that I didn't mm-hmm. really talk to before was something that I found was really important because I want to be someone who's able to motivate the people younger than me. And I think that through this, I was able to talk to some of the younger women of color in the upper school that I never had conversations with before. So that was something that kept motivating me throughout the journey. What parts of the answers that you got from people, what were some of the things that were the most striking to you between that, the, the most striking to you that were the same between people across like all ages, like from freshman to senior? The feeling of sometimes not being seen or not being heard when they want to be heard and the feeling of not having their feelings validated. And that was something that I found was interesting that we were all feeling because Mm -hmm. you would think that when you get to a certain age, you realize it more. The same feeling a 12th grader was having, a 9th grader was having it, and it wasn't like a new feeling when they got to the upper school, it was something that they were already feeling. What would you say was the most striking between people who were new to the school and people that had been there for like a longer time? I think kind of the same thing of not feeling like they're being heard, but I also saw that is something that's unique to our community where we're able to create bonds across grades and bonds across races and different social identifiers, which make whatever we're going through much easier. Were there any new like themes or ideas that came kind of out of like left field that you weren't expecting? I did interview some people who are like white passing. They identify themselves as women of color and I mm-hmm. feel like we often leave out people who are white passing or people who are mixed. And I think that um, through this, they were able to get to know themselves and then also show the community that, community that they deserve a seat at this table. They deserve mm-hmm. to be heard. Did something that someone said surprise you or change the way that you thought about your own experiences? One of my friends, Asuka, she's a senior, and mm-hmm. one thing that she said that stuck with me was not being able to see, like, or like in history classes, not being able to see, for example, Asian leaders in the civil rights movement. And I feel like that stuck with me because curriculum and education is a big part of our lives, and I feel like it's important Mm -hmm. for us to be able to see people who look like us in our textbooks. What has been the reaction of the film to the community or from the community? I haven't shown it to a lot of people, but the people that I have shown it to have said that it was powerful. I wanted people to think about the things that were being said. I wanted people to reflect on the things that they were saying. And I have shown it to some of the people who were in the film and they've used the things that they were saying and the things that other people were saying to reflect on their time at BFS. As a black woman and often being included or uh, being forced to be included in the conversation, how did you or did you rather see yourself in other people who maybe are, you know, white passing or uh, non-black women of color? Did you see yourself in them? This was a real growth process for me because I feel like it was really eye-opening to see that we may not look the same, but we're often going through the same things. Mm -hmm. And without us having conversations like this, we wouldn't be able to know that we can lean on one another. We wouldn't be able to know that it's not just me who's going through this and it's not just because I'm black. How do you want uh, white women to um, see this film? A lot of people in the film talk did talk about their white friends and how they've supported them too. So I guess I just want white students to to feel like they can support us even though they might not know what we're going through the support still feels the same whether you're white whether you're black whether you're asian the support still feels the same so without that support we're not really able to create the relationship that we want to create do you think that you'll continue making films in the future i want to continue creating films because i feel like that's one of the best mediums to get feelings across and with sending them back to BFS, I feel like that's something I would definitely do because BFS is my home and it's one of the only places that I know and one of the few places that I feel most comfortable. So I feel like the journey that I'm going on 
shouldn't exclude BFS because it's a part of that journey too. Yeah. Thank you, Olafunke, uh, for sharing with us today. And remember, as our guest today has demonstrated, let your life speak. Thank you.